These are the plaintiffs, Elizabeth and James Callahan. Elizabeth says she and her husband signed a one-year lease with the defendant, and she turned out to be the worst landlord in the world. They had no hot water in the middle of the winter, ended up moving out, and are now having one heck of a time getting their security back. They're suing for $3,781.75, the amount they're owed. This is the defendant, Nancy Chen. She says the plaintiff's up and left her high and dry, costing her a month's rent until she could find another tenant. Besides, they were smokers. The place reeked. The carpets needed to be cleaned, and she had to paint the walls to get the stench out. Owe them a refund for security? <laughs> she thinks not. She's accused of being a loosey-goosey landlord. All parties, please raise your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the docket, the plaintiff says the defendant was a rock-bottom landlord and fleeced them, but the defendant says the plaintiffs left without notice and they were smokers who stunk up the place. It's the case of Tobacco Road. Okay, Elizabeth and James Callahan, you are suing your former landlord, Nancy Chen, for $3,781.75, the balance of a security deposit that you feel she unlawfully withheld. Yes. Okay, tell me what happened here. On June 19th of 2013, we moved into the home. Okay, and what kind of home is this? It's a townhouse. Okay, and who was living there? My husband, myself, and two of our sons. All right, and uh, what goes wrong? Well, when we first moved in, I wasn't there initially for the first at least six to eight weeks because, unfortunately, we had two sons that were in a horrific car accident. Oh, um. And that happened on June 3rd, uh, I'm sorry, July 13th. We Are they okay? My one son is still going through surgeries. He's had 23 surgeries so oh. far. So he's, he'll be okay. Right. But he's still in the process of going through stuff. So we lived- And the other son's okay? The other son had his teeth knocked out, but he's okay. Oh, gosh. So when we initially Were moved- Were they seat belted? Yes. Yes, the SUV just turned a few times and... The one they were in? Mm-hmm. And uh, it was horrific. And my one son, Clint, uh, he was hurt really bad. We didn't know for weeks whether he would live or die. Oh, I'm so sorry So, I mean, it was... I'm glad to hear that it's better. Yeah. And um, because we were basically living up North Jersey, we were in, in the home. In the beginning, and uh, there were a lot of things that were wrong. There was no electricity in an outlet in the laundry room. Uh, the bathroom, the half bathroom on the ma uh, main level, there was no water in the bathroom because the, uh, the faucet wasn't hooked up. It was literally laying on top of the sink. Um, there were... Okay, but let, let, let's fast forward to the, at the end of your lease, you mm -hmm. end up staying there. Yes. And you're now a month to month because you didn't have them sign another lease, correct? No, no we have an agreement. Like a ship. Did you have them sign a new lease in writing? Um, we didn't, we, but we have the text message. Uh, it doesn't matter. And if, if you okay. want a one-year lease, it has to be in writing. That's the law. I have something from So the you end up going... You, you live there a year, yes. and then you live there another how many months? Um, eight months. Okay. And then you decide that you're moving out. Yes. And you tell her that you're moving out when? Um, January 25th, I believe it was. Verbally, Verbally or in writing? Verbally, January 25th until the 30th. Uh, on the 31st of January, I mailed a, um, a letter. A certified Certif letter? A, I Do have you the have the proof of the certification? Absolutely. I All know. right, telling them that what, telling her that what, that you would move out? That we would be moving out. At the there. end of February? At, no, at the end of, uh, yes, I'm sorry. At, at the, the end, end of February. February. All right, and what day did you move out? I was out of there, we were out of there on um, February 25th. Okay. I cleaned the place, I had it cleaned, I did the carpets. And uh, we did a walkthrough on February 27th, but we were out of there by the 25th and handed her the keys on the 27th of February. Can I see the, cert the, mm -hmm. the proof of mailing of the certified yes. letter? And also there, Your Honor, is um, when they, the post office tried to deliver it 
attempted to deliver that certified letter the first time. I got proof there. Right, and did, the they, did they give you a note? Did you get a notice that you had a certified letter that you needed to pick yeah, up? Yeah, that's on February 2nd. Right, mm -hmm. uh, but in the eyes of the law, it's deemed mailed at the, it, it, you have to postmark. It's like your taxes, where you have to have it postmarked mm -hmm. by April 15th. Um, it's the same thing, and if so long as she has proof that she mailed it with one month's notice, that would suffice if you have a month to month. If you have a lease, it's different. A written lease. I have, if I get notified in written on the first day of the month. No, it's of the date of the mailing, not of the date that you get it. That's the part that you're saying wrong. And according to this uh, United States Postal Service printout, the date that it was mailed was January 31st. Now, okay. So now, um, is there another reason that you kept it besides notice? Because it's not working for you in the notice. And also the smoke in the okay, house. Okay, let's talk about that. According to yeah, you, you have damages as a yeah, result of that. Yeah, the smoke in the house right now, then, you know, we, we, we like, go after the move out, on, on that day when the walk through, uh, it's night. I couldn't see, so, like, we walked. Could you smell? Yes, yeah, uh, okay. you know, uh, actually, I'm not that sensitive about it, but the new tenant, they're very. This the new is, tenant is sensitive yeah. to the smells. I'm very sensitive to it. Yeah, so, so they, they have like, a, uh, we have we 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 hired like a carpet cleaner to cleaning, and we buy the new paint, repainted the house, and also the still the smell is still there. So like they uh, we have. Uh, Did like, your tenant move out? Uh, they will move out if we don't. Did spend they it. move out? Not yet. Okay, and can you show me the bills for? Yeah, they. they okay. Were you smoking in the house? No, no. Yes. I smoke an occasional cigar, but I smoke it outside. Do you smoke cigarettes? No. no. Do you she smoke doesn't cigarettes? allow me to no. smoke it Does house. anybody else smoke cigarettes? No. no. Was there a smell of cigarettes in your house from anybody? It was never a problem. From they, from anything? No. Nothing. They, they came to the house quite often and, you know. And they never said anything? They loved never us there. They were begging us to Did a walk through and, and never, didn't right. mention the smoke. Never right. said a word to us. Kept your deposit and sent you a letter. Mm -hmm. Kept part of your deposit, sent you a letter. Right. And, and did the letter say anything about smoke? No. Nothing. She Can I see the letter? The Absolutely. She's... Yeah. If the stench was so bad, why didn't you mention it as a reason to keep money? And by the way, why did you keep exactly one month's rent as the money? It wasn't done in the house. I don't understand. Um, in your letter, actually, your lawyer sends this letter. Yeah, that's why. The... So then. Yeah, your lawyer's dead wrong. Uh, since it wasn't mailed until January 31st and not received by the landlord until after the month began. That is not the law. So your lawyer is uh, wrong, wrong, wrong. Okay, surf pro. Cigarette smoke deodorization. Oh, they charged you quite a bit, didn't they? Yeah. And it is on April 23rd. Of course, April 23rd. You moved out February 27th, so that's yeah. two months later there's cigarette smoke. How are you pinning it on them if you never even noticed it? Because maybe she had a boyfriend who smoked in there, and then she didn't I want did. his his stench permeating her no, nose. I don't know. I don't think so. You have a second reason why you were keeping some money, and it had to do with a sewer cost yeah, that they the were supposed to be paying. Yeah, the sewer is supposed to pay the sewer. Okay. That's Can I see the, the lease. that would be in the original lease? Yeah, it's on okay. the lease. Okay, let me see that, and I take it you were never charging them for that, no, and all the time they lived there. You can't. All right. The tenant shall arrange to transfer accounts to the tenant's name for all bills and utilities that shall be paid by the tenant. It says cold water, hot water, sewer is marked. Do you have sewer bills and proof that you paid them? Because if I get it, I didn't pay it, I will get names well, why don't you show me the bills? House. I need to see the bills to see what you're owed. Yeah. I already paid. I know, but I need to see it. You can't just name a figure. It's, it's, it's already right there, $70, 70, $70 quart. Is on the lease. Do you have a copy of your lease? Yes, yes let I me do. see your copy. So, how much is a sewer bill? It's $70 a four quarter. Four times a year? Yeah, four times right. a year. Right. And how long were they there? Mm, 21, 21 years. years. 21, 21 years. 21, 21 months. months. Okay. 21, I'm sorry, 21 months. You 21 months. We were there 20 months. months. Okay, here's something really odd. Their copy doesn't have what you wrote down here. So if smoking is permissible, can the landlord dock the tenant for yellow walls? 
Well, I believe he could, not based on the fact of the actual smoke, but on the fact of the uh, somewhat similar to graffiti. Oh, that's, that is interesting. I never thought of it that way. Huh. Going inside the courtroom. That's not my right handwriting. You can't prove okay, it. Okay, but you understand how this would make a judge go, hmm, right? When the copy they have, because this is like a notice to them saying, oh, by the way, this comes in quarterly and you have to pay $70 every quarter, blah, 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 blah. That's not here. But it's That's a little more. odd, isn't it? That's a lease. Yeah, okay. that makes me wonder. Why isn't it on their lease? I don't know that I feel like giving you the benefit of the doubt under these circumstances. I find it kind of annoying. I'm ruling in favor of the plaintiffs in this case in the amount of the $3,781.75. That's my verdict. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Well, too many loose ends in the defendant's testimony and evidence, and the judge is not comfortable, so she rules for the plaintiff. What's, what's your reaction coming out of the courtroom? I did what I supposed to do. I'm a good landlord, and I trust them, fail to them. You know, they take advantage of me, you know, so. Anyway, uh, God will bless the good people. Absolutely, okay. Thank you. All right, so step on in here. Uh, you're one of the good people that God is gonna bless, Absolutely. you think? Okay, and so you satisfied how this comes out here? Very good. What, what, what went down here? What went wrong? They just didn't want to fix anything, and the people that are in there now don't want to stay because they're not fixing anything that's, a, that's broken. How'd that smoky smell get in there if you're outside smoking cigars? I have no idea. It you're was, inside it smoking cigars. until after the fact. And I don't smoke cigarettes. Oh. I smoke cigars. You do? No, no so not at all. all. I'm not Never smoked. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Harvey? I got to tell you, Kurt, when you're a tenant, you make sure the landlord has written documentation that you gave the 30-day notice.